turns the world around. The music and legacy of Arabella Fante at Aaron Davis Hall at the City College Center for the Arts in Manhattan. Fundraiser for Jamaica Reggae Girls goalkeeper Nicole McClure at the Kimberley Hotel as she prepares uh, for the honest, FIFA Women's World Cup. At times, but I'm incredibly humbled to be part of this historic achievement. Short rib shrimp pasta with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on this week's In the Kitchen. This week, way the In the Kitchen. I'm gonna be changing the game this week. Celebrating the Festival of Colors as the 31st annual Pagua Parade in Queens. Happy Holy! Welsh and Onga Barunga, the drum and bass team known as Notice Heavyweight Rockers, are our featured artists on this week's Artist Spotlight. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The musical catalogue of renowned activist and Calypso legend Arabella Fante was celebrated with a concert on his 92nd birthday at Aaron Davis Hall. Every year at the Turn the World Around, the music and legacy of Ari Belafonte show, members of the Belafonte Alumni Group, a collective of performers that toured with the entertainer in his A-Day perform an entire concert dedicated to his songs. Our show is called Turn the World Around, the music and legacy of Harry Belafonte. And as Brandon said, our intention is for the show to carry around the world. We're yes. carrying his legacy forward, we're carrying his music forward, because we consider ourselves to be, and we know we, that we are, his musical children. Mm. So we're the ones to carry forward this, this information. <laughs> What's exciting for us is that we get to relive our time on stage with him uh, and in the performances yes. on, on stage. Though he is not performing on the stage, we feel his essence because his music is there. The arrangements that Richard Cummings Jr. has created are part of the show and they just bring us back to that wonderful place. In December, it's nice to We get to do some wonderful calypso and some soca and you know we, we, we represent the Caribbean community in that way as Harry did. loved working with Harry so much. It gives us the opportunity to revisit those feelings. Like sometimes when an introduction is being played and we're getting ready to sing, I get so excited because in my body, it feels just like it was, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago when we were on the stage and the introduction began and the audience is packed with people. No matter where we were, we could be on the French Riviera, we could be in Zimbabwe, we could be in a small town that you've never heard of, somewhere in Canada, we could be with farmers in Idaho, and it didn't matter. Harry was received, the music was received. All of us on the stage have worked with Harry at some point in time. So right now we have uh, maybe 13, 14 people on stage. And sometimes Harry's ensemble is even larger than that. But what we're doing is creating as much as we can that feeling, the look, the style, and of course the music is a, a wide variety. There was no one that didn't want to be around Harry, that didn't know him. It was just an amazing decade of, of grace and artistry and greatness with humility and conviction and honesty. And that's what I learned from him. Jamaica's reggae girls are set to make their historic debut at the Summer Global Showpiece, FIFA Women's World Cup in France. The reggae girls team created history when they qualified for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup to be held in France in June. A fundraising cocktail reception was held at the Kimberley Hotel in support of Reggae Girls, 
goalkeeper Nicole McClure as she continues her preparation leading up to the FIFA Women's World Cup. The event was made possible by sponsors the Kimberley Hotel, Bennett BVPL, Dream Castle Villa, The Marsh Couture and Johnny Cheesecakes. My name is Lyndon Taylor, the publicist for Nicole McClure, uh, Jamaica's uh, goalkeeper, um, um, one of the goalkeepers. Um, but she was responsible for saving two penalty kicks, as you know, um, to ensure Jamaica's qualification last October for the World Cup. So certainly a historic occasion for Jamaica and for the Caribbean, you know, being the first team uh, to qualify for the World Cup. So we're really excited about the opportunity for Jamaica and the Caribbean to represent present uh, the black, green and gold uh, this summer in France. I am here to support Nicole McClure and the Reggae Girls and Jamaican soccer in general because I think it's so important that we make an impact in this world that Nicole as a young Jamaican and also the Jamaican team and all the Jamaican girls I want to support them and make sure that they do everything in this world that they need to do and I'm so passionate about that. It's an intimate evening and you'll have a chance to meet Nicole and chat with Nicole and, and she'll share a few words about her preparation as she gears up for the big dance this summer. It's not an easy road. It never has been. From financial woes to a six-year hiatus, to say we have struggled would be an understatement. Our history-making World Cup qualification on October 17th has lifted our country in more ways than none. We have inspired an entire generation of young footballers throughout the Caribbean as we have become the first country from the Caribbean in history, in history, to participate in this year's World Cup. As my teammates and I continue our preparations for the big dance in June, we will carry with us your undying love and support every step of the way. It's an honor. Uh, to be honest, sometimes it's overwhelming at times, but I'm incredibly humbled to be part of this historic achievement. I was on the, on the bench for the majority of the game, um, so it was kind of difficult to stay engaged, but I am a professional, so I've been there before. Um, when Panama equalized, I took off my jacket and, and uh, I was told to, to warm up. And then as soon as the coach was ready, I, um, I was ready to go in. Um, and then after the first save, I said, okay, save the next one, and we win. And so said, so done. It was a euphoric feeling. At first, I didn't realize what was going on until days later, sometimes probably even weeks. <laughs> um, but it's like I said before, it's an honor, and I'm just extremely excited. I just recently signed with um, Scion Swifts in Northern Ireland. This is my first season with them. I've played professionally since 2012 um, in Sweden, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, Croatia, France, and Israel. And this will be my first time going to Ireland and I'm super excited and ready to go. I'm based in New York. Uh, I was born here. My, both of my parents are Jamaican, so that's how I get the citizenship. Um, yeah, I, I'm a proud Jamaican, <laughs> born in Jamaica, Queens, actually, kind of a coincidence there. Uh, but yeah, I'm Jamaican at heart, but birth certificate says I'm American. <laughs> we're in a tough group, but um, we're very, very competitive and very, very um, ready to take, th take this on. I'm very excited to play against Brazil because, I mean, as a Jamaican, we all idolize Brazilian football, so it's kind of cool to play against them. Um, on the world stage, so June 9th can't come soon enough. This episode of Inner the Kitchen is brought to you by Walker's Wood Caribbean Foods. All right, guys, this week, way at Inner the Kitchen, I'm gonna be changing the game this week. I'm doing a pasta dish. Pasta is gonna be real simple, real easy, and real fast. This way, you can use up a lot of stuff that you have at home left over in the fridge. From yesterday, I'm doing a short ribs and shrimp pasta and it's gonna be off the chain so I'm gonna have some nice white wine going to it some nice grayer cheese gonna be great on the top so you want to keep it locked don't go nowhere as a matter of fact go get yourself a nice cold glass red stripe beer I'll catch you right back in at the kitchen we're gonna cook something today My pot is already hot, so I'm gonna start putting in my ingredients little by little. Alright, I'm going with my scallion, my pepper, 
I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more so I can get some nice cooking going on here. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna go with a little bit of my, my veg. All right, I'm gonna go with my spinach. Then I'm gonna go with my short ribs. My short ribs, short ribs, you, if you have a home, any leftover meat, you can use your short ribs. Even if you have steak, you can use your steak. Beautiful, looking real good. I'm gonna go now with a little bit of my season, my Obey season, a little bit of black pepper, my pepper flakes, and garlic powder. I'm gonna drop two pieces of butter in, and the butter is gonna help me get all my, all my flavor. It's gonna increase my flavor. Beautiful, looking real good. That's what I wanna see. I wanna see that nice, pretty contrast look going on. Beautiful. All right, guys, looking real good. And that's what I wanna see. All right, guys, you see how that looks. Very pretty, very easy, and very simple. You guys can do it at home. You have some leftover, you can use it to make a pasta, some nice cheese, nice cold red striped beer or a glass of wine, and you're good to go. What are you there? In the kitchen. Stay tuned, because next week, I'm gonna turn it up next week. I'm gonna let it blaze inside the kitchen. So keep it locked. Which part are you there? In the kitchen. Go on and enjoy the pasta here. Make sure when you do yours, post it, tag me in it. I'll catch you around, all right? In at the kitchen. Hmm. Audrey, I must commend you. Nice wig. Wig? Mm -hmm. Darling, this is all natural. Thanks to Fountain Mighty Roots. Fountain Mighty Roots is the best hair product coming out of Jamaica. Real black Jamaican castor oil and the pimento. Amen. It gives my hair a more healthier, bouncy, richer look. Even good for the edges. Edges? Where mm. can I get it? Log on to your website, fountainoil.com and even on Amazon. Fountain Mighty Roots. It's hair to save your hair. You owe it to your roots. Pagwa is the celebration of Oli, a Hindu festival. Indo caribbeans immigrants from Guyana and Trinidad brought the celebration to Queens, starting the parade in 1988. The Guyanese community in Queens celebrated the start of spring with Richman Hill's annual Pagwa Parade. The 31st annual Pagwa Parade was dedicated to the late Pandit Ramlal, a scholar, author, teacher and founder of the Colorful Festival. Since the 1970s, many Guyanese have immigrated to the United States, especially to Richmond Hill and Jamaica in Queens, and brought the Pagwa tradition to their new home. Several thousand people came from all over the Tri-State area and many marched with their Hindu temple business or social society, wearing saris, playing tassa drums and chanting, walking or riding floats as the music blared from speakers. Pagwa aka Oli is an ancient Hindu celebration of regeneration that honors fertility 
love, and the triumph of good over evil. The right is a time when friends, families, and communities get together and enjoy themselves, regardless of social status, class, or ethnicity. It's also known as the Festival of Colors, and tradition dictates that revelers playfully toss rainbow hue powder. Happy Holy to my brothers and sisters of all nations, of all destinations, all over the world. Happy Holy! This is our 31st year doing this. It's almost as old as I am, and it's incredible because when we think about what impact Guyanese and Hindus have had in New York City, this is what we see, and I'm really excited to be here yet again. We have a little bit of rain, but that has not stopped people from coming out. It's good over evil. Today, when you celebrate the Holy with colors and offer the Spring Festival. My name is Kavita Ramkisun, all the way from Trinidad, and I am here to grace the stage at Smokey's Park out here in Queens for Pagua 2019. It's amazing. I didn't even know that there's going to be so much people in this kind of weather, man. Happy Holi everyone, my name is Sundari, the Indian Goddess, representing the Caribbean Equality Project and also representing the LGBT community here at the Pago Parade. This is the 31st Pago Parade here in Richmond Hill, Queens. I am so honored and privileged to be here representing the Caribbean Equality Project and our LGBT community. and unity and that's what we should have in our world today. holy and just playing with powder and having fun with each other. It's the best way for us to express our love of dance. Yeah, you don't know, you're watching Street Boys New York. I don't know Ziggy Bless. And you see today, we're going to talk to the Jamaicans them. See, we're living in New York. See, and we're going to find out which parish them think is the best parish in a Jamaica. See? St. Anne, of course. Why is it St. Anne though? That's the Garden Parish. So what's so special about the Garden Parish? Well, we got everything. And most famous people like Bob Marley come from Jamaica. Go Bridge, where we have the Best, best coffee in the world. Come up there, come drink some Blue Mountain coffee. On the way to Blue Mountain Peak, pass through my district. Say hi to the Wisdom family. That's where I'm from. Best place in Jamaica is St. Thomas, Port Marant. The sheer barn, that's where you're the best, right? No, man, my boss, we know we are the best. Why? Tell me a little bit about it. Because we have the, um, we have the bath fountain. We produce cane. We produce banana and all of those things so that's why we know so we are the best the center mass is always stops for me okay, right center mass yes center mass what's the way things you can remember about center mass why you remember about center mass i remember in the olden days when sugar and banana used to run and they used to go by the wharf and 
export, you know, okay. things like those, but that was years and years ago. Right. Nothing like that anymore. Negril Ocho Rice, let me hear that. What do you think, sir? Um, the, the type of settings and um, the environment, you know? Yeah, tourists here and stuff like that. St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth? Yes. Why St. E? That's where my mother from. So she and mother are the it's best. Very right? nice and cool down there. I love it down there. Right. Why? Why? Because we, we we are responsible for all most tourists that comes there and we show we have the beaches and all of that beautiful stuff. Alright, so you have the beach and the tourists. Right. Alright. St. Right. Catherine. Why? Why St. Catherine? Because I said so. That is not enough. Can you say so? Why which you say so? Which one is the best one? You're asking me. I'm asking you. I don't know. You tell me. Well, me personally, we say Kingston, you know? Why? Because Kingston have the all of the hot spot them. Kingston have the hype about the dance. Kingston about the artists, about, about everything. Rice? No, what that's why I'm But I ask you, which one is the best for, for you? <laughs> to be honest, right now, what's going on now, yeah. I would say St. Anne and mm -hmm. St. Elizabeth. All right, then no problem. Saint Anne and Saint Elizabeth, right? That's our street buzz. Keep it locked. Yeah, man, you don't know. Come chat to me. We're in the house. Milk River style tonight. You don't know. Notice. Trust me. The man them there, the man them do them thing. No respect. And thanks for taking the time out to come chat to me. See? Yeah. Introduce yourself officially, my brother. Yeah, I'm Unga Barunga, the lead singer and drummer for Notice Everywhere Rockers. Alright, brother. Yeah, man. Welch bass, bass player, vocals. Notice Everywhere Rockers. A real thing, man. The man said, Nobody's. Every day a good day. Inspiration behind the one, brother. So let's say, yo, yeah. after a while, I realize I'm complaining and frustrating myself about what I think in life. Now I solve the problem. So, well, I say yo, nothing wrong with the days them. God make every day good and perfect. So, we just I say yo, make you look on the brighter side of life and just live up and just keep in on the positive. So we say no bad days. I really think, man, I love that man. Oh, the linkage farm, my brother. Oh, the whole notice thing happened. Where you go? But the link here come from college, you know, like we man, start man, school man. together, Edna Manley. So, that's where we link up, Edna Manley. For the 2019, how the thing look? What go on? Yeah man, a bigger and better things, you know, cause more singles, more videos, you don't know. Um, promoting our new single, We Are The Builders now. Um, we shot the video just last week, so we're looking forward to, to, to putting it out to the public eye by now and the end of this month, so. Brighter and better things in 2019, yeah. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. See you next week.